the next drill here are the shoots. You can be real creative when you're dealing with the shoots. I like I just simply like to put a two man sled underneath the chute and we'll go from a six point stance and we'll explode our hands into the sled as we rotate our hips. Hand speed from the ground to the sled are vital and very important. So we got to make sure we work on that. The next thing I'll do is that we'll go from a three point stance. And it's the same sled. Our chutes are 45 and a half inches high from the ground. We want to make sure we buzz our feet on contact. We want to make sure we maintain great leverage. Again, the drills that you can do under the chute, the sky's the limit. Okay? As you can see here, we got them lined up behind one another so we're not wasting time. Here's another drill we'll do out of shoes. We'll just come off with a bag between legs where we maintain our base. And we'll just come from the back, from the ground to the bag as we drive the man out of the chute. All right. The next thing we do, we'll just do a read drill out of the chute. We'll re, we'll we'll do it, take a mirror step based off of the offensive lineman's uh, first step, and we'll get our try to get our hands inside. He got a running back. Well, we have to have keep vision, and we'll lock out with our arms. Wherever the running back goes, we'll maintain and come off and make the play. We'll make a tackle. Again, the drills that you could do from the chute uh, is pretty much up to you. Just make sure that the chutes are at the proper level where your players are maintaining great pad level and that you have.